Hello everyone, Pop-Tart here, welcome back to the RTM channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build our Link Belt ATC3275 mobile crane in 1.5 to 1 scale. This was designed by the very talented Warellas, who you may remember from our 1 to 1 tips and tricks time lapse last month. He builds quite a lot of our ground vehicles, so huge props to him for all of his hard work. So we have two different variants we'll be looking at today. This is the transit version with the boom retracted and all that. And here we have the boom extended and the hydraulic outriggers out to the side to stabilize the crane. I'll be first showing you how to build the base here, then the stowed boom on top, and finally the extended boom here with the stabilizer legs out to the side. So before we get started, one thing you should keep in mind, as you've probably noticed by now, this build does make use of our custom Aero Team texture pack for things such as 3D models and custom slab and stair colors. A download link to this pack for Minecraft 1.13 can be found in the description below if you don't have it already. But if you're stuck using the default texture pack for whatever reason, I'll show you workarounds you can use for the default pack. This build will still work perfectly fine in default, but I highly recommend using the Aero Team pack instead as it'll look much better. Now with that all out of the way, let's get going on the tutorial. As you're figuring out where you want to put the crane, keep in mind that the transit version here is 23 blocks long, 4 blocks wide, and 5 blocks tall. As for the deployed version, I guess you'd call it, the boom here can actually extend pretty far, so uh, it really depends on how you'd like to build it. But the version we have here is 24 blocks tall. And with that, let's get going on the base. We'll be starting up here at the wheel base. So for this, grab your nether brick stairs, place an upside down nether brick stair facing forwards right here. Then one facing backwards, skip a space and we've got another upside down stair facing backwards, and one facing forwards off of that, just like this. Then from the front here, forwards, backwards, forwards, and backwards. That'll round off your two front wheels. Leave a two block space in the middle and just repeat this whole pattern on the other side right here. So you've got your forward facing upside down stair right there, backwards, space right there, backwards, forwards after that, and then forwards, backwards, forwards, and backwards. That'll do it for your front wheels. Let's grab your brick slab right here. Uh, should be in my inventory. There we go. Join these two front um, upside down nether brick slabs right here with two brick top slabs right there. Bring this two forward, then grab your purple slab or uh, quartz slab in default and place two coming off right there, offset at an angle this time. Going back from this before we join up the uh, whole body with the chassis in the center here. Leave a 4 block space from the back of these wheels right here, 1, 2, 3, and 4 right there. Then place another nether brick stair upside down facing forwards. And this will start off our back wheel. So this time we actually have 6 instead of, um, or 3 instead of 2. So you've got your forward facing, backwards, space, backwards, and then a third wheel right there. And then your forwards facing stairs after that. Should look like that if that was a bit too complicated. And then just leave your two block space in the middle here and do this whole thing once more. Just like this. And then your normal stairs on top. Like that. Next bring your brick top slabs all the way down the body right here, all the way to the end. Just like this. There we go. And then come one past. And we'll actually bring this a second row out right here, so it's two past the wheelbase at the end right here. That'll do it for the base of your body, though. So, next, grab your red concrete, or bricks in the Aero Team pack, to uh, be consistent with the color scheme here. But uh, red concrete or wool will be a suitable alternative in default if you want. So, we'll just bring bricks all the way across the top of these uh, brick top slabs right here. Just like this. <laughs> if I can place the blocks properly. There we go. Next, to finish off the back here, skip this first block and place a brick going out to either side of that last block right there. Grab your dark oak buttons, place those on the outside bricks that we just placed, and then your birch buttons in the center right here for the lights at the back of the crane. Next, for our hydraulic outriggers here, uh, grab your iron trapdoor, place that coming out from the, the uh, top slab there on either side. Then grab your mossy cobblestone wall, or just a normal cobblestone wall in default, but in the Aero Team pack the mossy cobblestone wall is a black texture like this. So to place in these retracted outriggers right here, this is going to require a bit of world edit trickery. For this, what we're going to do is uh, place down our mossy cobblestone walls right in there, with brick slabs on top, just so we don't give them any block updates later on. If you don't have access to world edit, you might have to leave it like this, but if you do have world edit, we can finish this off much more nicely. So for that, what you're going to do is grab a torch and a stick right here. 
If you've seen any of our other tutorials, you might know what we're going to be doing here. Grab your stick, type slash REPL0. This will switch it over to the uh, Replace tool. Now what we want to do for our uh, mossy cobblestone wall right here, actually just place a temporary block right up to the side. Place a torch right there. Select it with the stick right there. Uh, you saw nothing. <laughs> Select it with the stick right there and paste that over the temporary block. Now to make this uh, cobblestone wall straight and not connecting to that last block right there, we're going to place it down elsewhere, then place two temporary blocks out to the side right there, select it with your stick again, and paste that in like so. And there you have your finished uh, retracted hydraulic outrigger. Another thing to note is that in the air team pack, the torch is this custom uh, lamp model like this. In default, uh, the default torch sticking out might not look too hot, so you might want to uh, just leave the cobblestone wall be or maybe use a button instead, but this looks a lot nicer for the Aero Team pack, and that's what we're using here. And now we'll just rinse and repeat on the other side. So your temporary block there, grab that torch like so, paste it over. Your cobblestone wall there, blocks to either side, select it, and paste it over. Perfect. Now we can uh, fill in this area right in here. So for this, what we're going to do is grab our... Uh, let's see, stone top slabs right here. Place a stone top slab coming after these wheels here at the front, like this. Now we'll do the same thing for the outriggers here. So your iron trapdoors right here, out to either side. Mossy cobblestone walls right there. And your brick slabs on top. And a brick block right there to the side of the uh, mossy cobblestone walls. So now that we have that, we can just do the same thing that we did back here. So grab your torch right there. Temporary block there, paste it over, and grab your cobblestone wall right here, select that, and paste it over there. Same thing on the other side, so your temporary block, torch, select that, paste it over, and your cobblestone wall right there. Perfect, that'll do it for our outriggers here. So now that we have that, just grab your jungle trapdoor or just an iron trapdoor in default, but in the Aero Team pack, the jungle trapdoor is this more uh, kind of metallic uh, industrial texture. And out to this uh, side of the, this brick block right here, just place that, flip downwards. This is for the uh, ladder on the side of the crane. Once we have that, place a stone top slab coming off of that, and that'll do it for that section. So moving forwards here, we can work on the uh, cabin up at the front here. For this, grab your uh, block of quartz right here. Place a block of quartz right on top of that leftmost top slab right there with a button out to the side right here. Next grab your purpose stair or quartz stair in default. Place that going backwards right there upside down. Next grab your bricks here. Place a brick going forwards from that. One, two, and three towards the right hand side. One going back there. Fill in that gap with your bricks. Then place an upside down brick stair facing backwards from that last brick right there. That'll do it for this forward section though. So next, grab your torch here. Place two on the outmost blocks right there. With your levers off to the side right there of those two front blocks. This is for the start of our uh, side mirrors here. Next, we can work on the actual cabin itself. So grab your green stained glass, or uh, black stained glass in default. Uh, one thing to note here is that in the Aero Team pack, the black stained glass is this fully translucent color like this, but in the Aero Team pack, the green stained glass is a black glass texture with the uh, lines around the edges, which we like to use for our glass. But again, you can just use black stained glass in default. <laughs> Please do, actually. Green will look absolutely horrible. So once we have that all out of the way, place your two uh, glass right there on top of the quartz and upside down wool stair right there. Next, grab your green stained glass panes this time. Place two out to the side right there, then two across the front. Now for our side mirrors here, grab your black glass this time, and place one coming out to the side right there on top of that lever, and one on top of the lever over here. If you have access to world edit, place down a temporary block right there on top of that brick there. Grab your stick, slash REPL0 to switch it over to the uh, air replace tool, and replace that block there with air, just like that. That'll do it for our side mirrors. So now grab your uh, red carpet right here. So skipping these first two blocks here, place two red carpet going across right there. Grab your wool stair, place a wool stair facing forwards right there on top of that brick stair. Brick block going back right there, and then two more wool going back from that. Next grab your black wool, place two black wool going across the center right there. 
with a brick block to the left hand side, then one going forwards there, and a wall to fill up that gap right there. Two more black wool going forwards right there to fill in that gap. Next we actually have to get rid of that glass pane right there, that's my mistake. Instead what we'll do is place a temporary block right in there, place a netherbrick stair facing forwards right there to the left of it, then uh, we got a little bit of world edit trickery again to get this uh, block in place. What you can actually do if you don't have access to world edit is just place a uh, netherbrick stair right there facing to the side, but if you have world edit we can get this uh, pane right here to curve around nicely. So leave your temporary block right there, place another brick stair uh, facing forwards right there, one curved around, grab that with your replace tool like so, knock those two out, and then replace that uh, temporary block with your stair like so. Once we have that all in place, grab your white carpet right here, place one, two, and three white carpet across that left side right there, then two carpet covering up the brick blocks right there, and two carpets covering up that glass Next, grab your lever, place a lever on that wool block right there, facing backwards, yes, right there. So make sure it's flipped backwards like that. And that'll do it for the uh, front cabin and all that good stuff right there. Actually, one last thing we have left to do now is to grab an acacia button right there and place that on the uh, side of that brick block right there. Now that'll do it for the uh, cabin. That's what we can do is grab our stone slabs, place one, two, three, and four going across the back of that right there, and a second row actually going across with your stone slabs just like that. Next with your brick slabs, place two going across right there to fill in that gap, then one, two, three, and four going uh, out to the back right there, one, two, three, and four. With your cobblestone slabs now, if I can grab those, here we go, place those on top of that brick block right there to finish off the ladder, just like that. Then one, two, and three stone slabs going back right in there. Next what we're going to do is grab our black wool right here, place down a two by two of uh, black wool right after those brick slabs there to finish off the back. This is going to be the base of where the crane itself will uh, rotate around. So once we have that, grab your stone slabs again, place two stone slabs going out to the side right there. Then with your uh, brick slabs right here, one, two, three, and four going back, one, two, three, and four from those black wool right there. Then one in that corner right there to fill that in, and then fill in this gap with your two stone slabs just like that. Once you have that all in place, that is everything for the base chassis of your Link Belt ATC3275 mobile crane. So next what we're going to be doing is building the boom retracted for transportation. Alright, so next up here we're going to be building the crane in transit. If you want to build just the uh, boom extended like this, you can skip ahead to that via the timestamps in the description below instead if you'd like. But first here we'll be building the transit version. So for this, where we have this 2x2 two two turntable right here on the uh, base chassis, grab your bricks and uh, white wool. On the right side here, place 1, 2, and 3 white wool going back, then 1, 2, and 3 bricks on the left side like this. Next with your white wool, place one going forwards right there, then one and two going forwards on the left side. Now uh, grab your stone slabs right here, place one, two, and three going to the side right here across those three bricks, just like so. After this here, grab your black wool, place a black wool right there, two full blocks of your stone slabs like so, with your black wool coming off to the right. Next, grab your wool stairs here, place an up, or uh, just a normal wool stair facing to the side right here, then one, two, and three white wool across. Next, grab your birch trapdoor here, and your iron trapdoor. Place, uh, let's see, one and two birch trapdoors going back from these, uh, both of these stone full blocks right there. Then your iron trapdoor is going back on either side, two of those. Another thing to note here is that in the Aero Team pack, the birch trapdoor is a wool texture like this. If you're in default and you uh, don't like the look of that too much, um, you can use uh, iron trapdoors all around instead, but in the Aero Team pack, we're using birch trapdoors like this. So next, uh, grab your birch trapdoors again and place one, two, three, and four across the back, like so, with a wool stair out to either side right here facing towards the sides. Fill in the center here with your uh, two birch trapdoors right there, and then two birch trapdoors on top of those to connect that up. Next, grab your prismarine stairs, place uh, two facing backwards right there, then two facing forwards there to round that off. In default, you can use uh, stone brick or something like that instead if you want, but uh, 
in the arrow to impact the prismarine stairs with this nice uh, dark brick texture. So once you have that here, grab your iron trapdoors and place two iron trapdoors on top of the iron trapdoors we already have there to thicken that up. Next, what we're going to do here is place two wool going forwards from that with a wool slab out to either side, like this. And you can bring this forward a few blocks as well if you want, just like this in line with the uh, stone uh, slabs that we have right there. That's what we're going to do here is bring the boom itself forwards. So for this, grab your wool stairs here, where we have these two blocks of wool going forwards right here. Place one, two, three, four, and five uh, wool stairs facing out to the side right here. And then one, two, and three upside down wool stairs this time. Then bring your wool all the way across the, uh, the uh, top just like this. These normal wool stairs here represent the um, piston that extends across the bottom of the uh, boom here, which you can see extended right there. So next what we've got here is on the, the uh, right side this time, one, two, three, four, five, and six this time. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven upside down stairs going towards the front. Once we have that there, grab your stone slabs, place one and two going forwards from those three wool right there. Then grab your wool and just cap all of this off right here, going all the way to the front. Next up here, we've got a pretty large wheel on the side of the boom here. For this, grab your uh, netherbird stairs, place an upside down netherbird stair right there, with the netherbird stair facing forwards on top, and then backwards behind that just like so, just like we did with the wheels down here. I believe this wheel here is for the uh, boom extension mechanism in right there. But once we have that, all you're going to do now is place two wool stairs uh, upside down to the sides right there, and then your two wool on top like so. Next we've got a detail on the side right here, so for this grab your acacia button and place that on this uh, wool block right there in line with that last normal stair, like so. In default you can use a uh, stone button instead, but in the Aerotean pack this acacia button is a black texture, and the uh, detail in real life is a black color like this, so this is much more accurate. Once we have that all of the way, we actually have the link belt text on the side of the crane right up here, so for this, uh, from this upside down stair right here, skip these first two, then right up here, knock out this wool, and then three going forwards, like so. Then fill this in with your brick. This is for the red link belt lettering across the side of the boom. Once we have that, we can cap off the top of the boom right here with our white carpet right here. So grab that and just gr uh, drag this all the way back right here, going all the way back to the uh, base in line with these last two wool blocks right there, just like that. Next thing we're going to put in here is the cap right on the side of the uh, boom right here. So forwards from the stone slab right here, place a uh, brick right there with a stone button out to the side. Now we're going to do something a little bit tricky. Grab your, uh, if I can find it, the stripped jungle wood right here. In the air team pack, this is a half brick, half nether brick slab texture. And we'll place two of those going forwards facing up just like this. Uh, in defaults, you can use either uh, just full-on brick or full-on nether brick. Um, probably full-on nether brick would be best, but this maintains the correct angle of the cab glass that we are uh, that we have right here. So you can throw that away now. Place a torch going towards the front. Then grab your nether brick stairs here and your nether brick slabs. Let's see, we've got a nether brick stair facing forwards right here. Then uh, just two black wool going back, one and two. Then grab your activator rail right here. Um, actually, it's the powered rail, my bad. Place a powered rail right there. Yet another texture pack note in the Aerotame pack. This is a uh, black trapdoor texture, which is more uh, bulky than just a black carpet, but you can use black carpet instead if you don't have this model. Now that we have that all out of the way, to uh, finish off the uh, this section of the back here, to put in the railings, grab your gentle trapdoor, or again, iron trapdoor in default. From this second slab back right here, place one, two, three, four, and five gentle trapdoors back, and open those all up like so. And we'll do with the virtually the same on the other side, that is, just one, two, and three this time. All opened up just like that. Next, we actually have to knock off these last two uh, wool slabs right there. You can throw away your gentle trapdoors now, and we'll just place a mossy cobblestone wall going forwards from that second, just like that. 
Now that we have that, that is everything for the back of the boom. And we just have the uh, hook and all that at the front here to put in. So, throw all this away. We've got a 2x2 two two of white wool right here at the front. Again, with your white carpet on top. And birch trapdoors underneath, or iron trapdoors in default. Then grab your uh, nether brick stairs right here. Place uh, an upside down nether brick stair facing to the side right here. Stair facing to the side on top of it. And round that off just like so with your uh, nether brick stairs. Once we have that, grab your powered rail again, or again just uh, black wool and or black um, carpet in default. Uh, place down your powered rail here. Grab your stick. Again, we'll be using our replace tool here. Select that by left clicking like we always have, and paste that over our two temporary blocks right there. Or again, just your black carpet in default. But this is what we're using here in the arrow team pack. So now that we have that, what we're going to do is grab our quartz slab and brick slabs right here. From this uh, top left one right here, we're going to place a brick half slab going up, quartz slab to the right, brick slab under, and quartz slab to the left, just like this to make a uh, little hazard marking pattern kind of thing going on right there. Now we just have to put in the hook, so grab your black wool, down from this uh, rightmost Upside on uh, nether bridge stair right there. Place a uh, black wool full block going down. Then with your nether bridge stairs, I think this is upside down. No, it's just a normal stair. Just a normal stair right here facing uh, backwards like this. And then for the hook itself, just grab your iron bars. Place an iron bar right in there. If you have access to world edit, we can make this a little bit nicer by placing down an iron bar just anywhere. Then a uh, temporary block to the forwards or to the back and front of it. And grab that with your replace tool and paste that over like that to make it uh, connect nicely to that stair right there. That is everything for the transit version of the ATC3275 though. So, if uh, you're just building the, the uh, transit version here, you are done with this tutorial. And you can skip right on ahead to the end of the video. But if you're building the uh, boom extended here, we'll be covering that next. So to get started here, for the extended boom, on top of this 2x2 two two of black wool right here, grab your white wool and place a 2x2 two two right there on top of it. Now this whole platform does actually rotate, so before we continue here, you'll probably want to figure out which orientation you want to be building in. So it can actually uh, rotate around uh, straight out to the sides. I'm just going to be building mine facing forwards here in line with the body, but if you want to build yours uh, rotated around out to the side or anything like that, you'll probably want to uh, figure that out now. And uh, so instead of building forwards here, you'd instead start building out to the left or something like that. But uh, I'm just going to be building this in line with the uh, body facing forwards. So once we have this 2x2 two two of white wool here, place one more row going towards the front and back right here. Next, uh, only on the left hand side, place one more going towards the front right there. Grab your stone slab, place a stone slab going forwards from that. Two towards the right, and then two back from those, uh, just like this, to fill that in. One, two, and three white wool back from that. Then grab your wool stair, and place a wool stair out to the side right there. After this, on top of these two uh, wool blocks right here, place two uh, wool stairs right there. With one and two blocks back. One and two. Actually three, I believe. And then two uh, wool stairs back from that, facing backwards this time. Next we've got a wool slab out to either side right there. Then on the right side only here, uh, place uh, one more going forwards right there, and then a mossy cobblestone wall out to the side, or again just a normal cobblestone wall in default. Then once we have that, just come around to the slab on the other side here and place one, two, and three more wool slabs going forwards from that. Then grab your stone slabs here, place one, two, and three underneath those three that we just placed. Now I've got the uh, same... Um, connection assembly here for the counterweights as we do on the transit version here. So for this, grab your prismarine stairs, or again stone brick stairs in default. Skip a block here and place one and uh, two here facing backwards, then one and two facing forwards off from those. Grab your iron trapdoors, place two iron trapdoors out to the side right there. Then your uh, wool stairs facing towards the sides right there. With your birch trapdoors right there in between, and then on top of those two. Finally, just grab your jungle trapdoors here, and we've got one, two, three, four, and five. Flick those up, skipping that first wool uh, slab right there. Then one, two, and three right there, and open those up too. 
just like that. That's to put in the cab right here. This is uh, this cab design is actually a little bit different here because it's actually rotated uh, slightly with the boom itself. So for the cab here, what we're going to do is grab our brick slabs, place two brick top slabs out from those two wool blocks there, then grab your strip jundle wood once more. We've got one and two facing uh, upwards out from this at an angle, just like this, and then a black wool going back right there. Let's place a black wool on top of that uh, uh, first of the two strip jundle wood uh, right here. Again, just to make sure, uh, if, if you're in default, that'll obviously look horrible, just a jungle wood in the build. Use uh, just solid black wool or something like that in default, or uh, solid bricks or whatever you prefer. So now, from this uh, last uh, jungle wood right here, place a torch going forwards, just like we did there. Then a stone button out to the side from that black wool right there. And a nether brick slab on top of that black wool. Next, we have a vertical slab coming off of this uh, black wool here. So for this, grab your, uh, what is it here? The dead fire coral fan and place one off of that just like this. In the air team pack, that is a uh, black wool vertical slab model. In default, you'll probably want to use something like just a plain uh, netherbird stair instead, but it'll look considerably worse. This helps to uh, keep the nice angled contour intact. So once we have that, We've just got our uh, powered rail on top, yet again, uh, or your black wool carpet if you want in default. And one quick adjustment here is we actually want to move this stone button here from that uh, black wool block there to that uh, first of the two jungle wood right there. And once we have that, that is everything for the cab itself. So now we can move on up to the boom. So for the boom here, this is relatively simple. Where we have this uh, first row of wool right here, just place two wool stairs facing backwards, two white wool there, and then two top slabs after that. And we'll repeat this four more times. So you've got your stairs, wool, top slabs, stairs, wool, oop, wool, top slabs, that's one, two, three, stairs, wool, top slabs, that's four, stairs, wool, and top slabs, that is five. Next up here, we've got a uh, row of stairs right here, then your wool coming out, and then only on the right side a top slab this time, leaving the left block uh, open right there. And then from this here going forwards, uh, you've got your two stairs facing backwards right here, two blocks of wool there, and then uh, this time two upside down wool stairs facing forwards. Same thing again, stairs, wool, upside down stairs facing forwards, and then just uh, your row of stairs facing backwards right there. Right in there will be the uh, wheel for extension, and we will worry about that later. So what we're going to do now is put in this piston right here that um, holds the uh, crane itself up. So for this, come right down here beside the cabin, where we have this one block of wool here uh, exposed. Place a second on top. Then a wool coming off of it at an angle right there with a wool top slab on top. And then a half slab out at an angle right there with a block of wool on top. Then grab your cobblestone walls, if I can get that. Then place a cobblestone wall on top right there. One going forwards, two going up right there, and then one more going forwards like so. And that'll do it for your hydraulic piston holding the boom up. Last thing we're going to do now is grab our acacia button here and place one uh, to the side of that wool there in line with that... Uh, cobblestone wall. And we can also employ a bit of world edit trickery as we have done before here to uh, smooth this all up. So, you know, on the real piston, this uh, extends straight up here. It doesn't make any funny movement off to the side. It's a, it's a straight metal rod. So to clean this up here, we can just place a cobblestone wall anywhere with a full block off to the side. Grab that with your stick just like so, and paste that over. And that'll clean things up nicely. And that'll do it for your piston. Alright, to put in this wheel now, just grab your nether brick stairs. We've got an upside down nether brick stair facing forwards right here, off at an angle. One facing backwards out from that, and then two facing inwards on top, just like this. Then a block down here with a uh, wool stair facing forwards from it, like so. Now instead of just continuing on up here, we actually have the link belt text running up the side to worry about. So for this, grab your bricks and brick stairs. Place a uh, brick stair right there, off to the side of that nether brick stair. Full block of bricks forwards from that. Stair, bricks, and stair. 
Then we've got uh, two wall stairs coming out from that right there, and then two more wall stairs right there. Block of wool on top, wool stair back and on top right there, and then two wool right there to fill in that gap. So that's everything for the base. Next we've got the uh, actual extending part of the boom here. So, uh, you should keep in mind as we're building this that uh, extending this boom is actually at your discretion. So this black section here is the part of the boom that would uh, extend or retract in and out. So it can actually extend pretty far on, or uh, even be just as short as around here, anything you want really. But our model here that we have extends six blocks out, so uh, I'll be showing you how to build that. So let's just jump straight into this then. On top of this wool here, just place down another brick stair right there. Grab your black wool, and we've got one going forwards from that. Then an upside down another brick stair right there, facing forwards. And one underneath right there. And you can just bring this across. Like so. So we've got one another brick stair right here. Make this two, three, four, five, and six right there. Again, if you want to extend this further, be my guest. You can, uh do anything you want with this really, but again this is just what we're building with uh, our model here. So once you've got that, just bring this all the way across here, like this, and your netherbird stairs underneath upside down, and then two uh, upside down netherbird stairs facing forwards from that black wool right there. So just place down two more black wool right there in the center to fill that up, then two normal netherbird stairs this time facing forwards right there, and then two on top, just like this. Next we've got some uh, vertical slabs to put in. So in the Aero Team pack, these are the dead fire coral fan models. Uh, for this we're just going to place down two temporary blocks right there in front of these netherbird stairs that we just placed down. And for this what we're going to do is just place down a uh, dead fire coral fan right there facing out to the sides. Grab your stick, as we've done before I believe, and just slash REPL0 to switch this over to your replace tool, and select by left clicking. And just paste that over that temporary block right there, and the same thing right here. Just like that. As a workaround for default, if you want, you can just use like a black wool block on the left side only right here. But this works a lot nicer if you do have the arrow team pack. So the last thing we're going to do to this section here is to put in this hook. So for this, just grab your iron bars, and from this uh, stair right here on the right side, come down one, two, uh, two, three, Wow, I'm bad at this. Three, four, and five, just like that. This is another thing that you can build at your discretion as well. This can uh, extend basically all the way down here, but our model here just has it at five, and that's how I'll be building it. But you can build it however you please. So once we have this here, now coming down from this uh, vertical slab on the left side, we're also going to come down five iron bars right here. So one, two, three, four, and five, like so. On uh, this side here, the forward-facing left one, grab your mossy cobblestone wall, place that down right under that. In the Aeroteam pack that has a black coloration, you can just use a normal cobblestone wall in default, but it'll look a little bit weirder. So then, uh, for this last one here, the other exposed iron bar, grab your netherbird stairs and black wool, place a black wool right there underneath that, and then a netherbird stair underneath it facing backwards just like this. That'll do it for that. Next, to uh, smooth off the iron bar here, what we can do is grab, uh, or just place that down anywhere right here with a temporary block forwards and backwards from that. Grab this with your replace tool like so. And we can paste these over the uh, these ones right here, the one that's <laughs> to the right. You're not going to do that to the left one here, that's a solid line. Beautiful. Once we have that, what we can do now is uh, place down two iron bars right here and then just paste that over that uh, farthest back right here. That'll tie this whole cable into the uh, boom right here, and we're going to worry about this whole cable running down the length of the boom next. Alright, so for this, just come down to your cable spool here, the uh, four stairs right here, and from this forward leftmost stair right here, just place an iron bar on top. Now, if you don't have access to World Edit, what we're going to be doing with uh, offset bars like this might look a little bit weird and won't connect up nicely. So what you might want to do is have a, st a uh, bar here, then one going forwards, one on top, one going forwards, one on top, one going forwards, one on top, and forwards running all the way up right here until you hit this uh, stair right there. 
but we're going to do something a little bit different if you do have world edit. So uh, for this, this is just going to use the same trick that we did there with the uh, cable. So uh, we can leave that one now. What we're going to do is use temporary blots for now, since that's a lot easier to uh, place than just trying to aim on top of that tiny little uh, uh, square on top of the iron bars there. So bring your temporary blots out right here, uh, all the way up until you hit the wheel right here. In line with the wheel here, oh, went too far. In line with the wheel, come all the way forwards right there, connecting to that stair right there. And then just run your temporary blots all the way up the uh, side here, connecting with that uh, nether brick stair right there. And grab your replace tool again. If you've uh, lost it since we were working on this, you can just select again by left clicking. But next, we're just going to drag this all the way down on top of all of our temporary blocks that we just placed down there. And once we have that, that is... Oh, and there's that last iron bar right there, too. Perfect. Once we have that, that is everything for the cable. And again, if you're in vanilla and don't have world that you can just uh, run that same pattern all the way up the front using uh, your connecting iron bars. But this looks a lot cleaner if you do have world edit. So once we have that, that's everything for the cables. Next, we're going to put in one of the most important parts of the entire crane here, the uh, counterweights, so that the entire crane doesn't just tip forwards. So for this here, where we have this uh, space right in here, just grab your black wool. We've got four black wool running across the, the uh, back right there. Then one, two, three, four, five, and six. One, two, three, and four coming from the center here. Then just two across the center right there. Next, we're going to bring this down a half slab. So if you are building this uh, rotated out at an angle, you know, facing 90 degrees to the uh, left or right or whatever, you can just place nether brick slabs underneath these. But uh, since we are building this uh, forwards facing here, we will have to uh, use a bit of trickery to get those slab layers in here. So for this, we're just going to use the same trick that we did with the uh, cab right there with the stripped logs. So, let me grab that here. We've got the stripped jungle wood and the stripped, uh, I think it's the spruce logs here. Let me check. Yeah. So just replace this very last stone half slab right here with that stripped spruce log, like so. That'll give you this nice half stone, half black wool texture. And we'll do the same thing on the other side right here, like so. And then with the stripped jungle wood, we'll just uh, put these in on the corners right here. Replacing those two with your stripped jungle wood. Now we can just cap off the rest here with our uh, nether brick slabs. So you've got the two nether brick slabs running across the back right there. One under there, and one under there. And right in here we can just knock out those two half slabs and replace those with black wool right here. That's it for the actual weights for the counterweights at the back right here. But we've got just one last thing left here. So for this grab your, let's see... Uh, red stained glass panes and white stained glass panes right here. This is for the hazard markings on the back right here. So, starting from this, uh, on the right side right here from this black wool, just place a red stained glass pane going forwards from that. White glass pane right there, and a red uh, back from that wool. Over here on this side, we've got a white stained glass pane going forwards from that black wool. Red and white. Just like that. That's it for the hazard markings, and that is everything for the extended boom. So the very last thing we're going to put in in this tutorial is the extended hydraulic outriggers. So for this, just come down to your uh, normal outriggers right here, and knock all of this out. Grab your black wool, come three out from this gap right here, one, two, and three, and then one and two out with your mossy cobblestone walls. Underneath this right here, place down an anvil, like so. And actually, before we do that, grab your gold ore, in the arrow team pack that is, and place down a gold ore right underneath there, like so. In the arrow team pack here, the gold ore is this kind of dark granulated gray texture, which is perfect for the uh, hydraulic outriggers, but uh, <laughs> might not look so hot in default, so just use black wool or gray wool or something like that if you'd like. And we can just place down our anvil on top of that, facing uh, a line sideways like this. Then just grab your black carpet and line this area here with a 3x3 three three of your black carpet for the massive pads of the uh, hydraulic outriggers. And the last thing we're going to do here is just uh, do the same thing that we did here. So grab your torch, place down any old temporary block coming off of that mossy cobblestone wall. Torch right there, 
select that with your replace tool and paste that over like so. And that is it for the hydraulic outriggers. So I'll do this again right here on the uh, back one right here. So knock all of this out. One, two, and three coming out. Two mossy cobblestone walls, your gold ore, of course I got rid of it. There we go. Gold ore underneath that in line with the ground. And we'll, uh, on top of that, and your 3x3 of black carpet right there. And your torch coming off of that. Awesome. And just mirror that onto the other side here. And that's everything for your hydraulic outriggers. So, this is what your extended hydraulic outriggers should look like copied over to the other side of the crane. And once you have that all copied over, that is absolutely everything there is to it for the Link Belt ATC3275. Again, huge props to team member Warellis for designing this crane and for letting me make a video on it. But that is it. So, congratulations on completing this mobile crane. We hope that you enjoyed building it, and we hope that you enjoy having it in your Minecraft world. Thank you so much for choosing an Aero Team design. Hundreds of hours of work from all of us here at the Aero Team go into all of our aircraft and vehicles to make these designs possible. And on that note, we do ask that if you use our designs, then please do give us credit for our hard work. Feel free to build this on a server, or any kind of project you intend to publish or share in any way. You're most welcome to use our designs, that's why we publish them. But you must give credit to the Aero Team. This can be accomplished as easily as a sign somewhere around the finished build saying, Designed by the Aero Team. And if you share this anywhere on social media, just give us credit equally. That's all that we ask. And if you have built this crane, let us know. We'd love to see how you're using our designs. So with that all out of the way, that concludes this tutorial. Again, thank you so much for building this vehicle. If you enjoyed, you can check out our other tutorials via the playlist in the description below. If you like this, you might find something else from us that you'd like too. And if you do find that to be the case, then please do consider subscribing to the Air Team channel to be the first to see our new aircraft when they come out. That's just about it though, so thank you all for watching, and we will see you in the next one.